what would be the point of communicating and not being understood? The point of communicating is to be understood. When I want to say something, I make an effort to be understood. Now, partly that's because I've learned over many years of giving speeches. If there are things that people don't understand, occasionally they tell me. And I think about how to explain that better. But partly it's just anticipation. I know that the basic idea here is not a, a technical point. This is a, this is a social and ethical issue, not a technical issue. There's no reason why it has to be obscured by technical details. And I can think about how to communicate it clearly. Anyone can. It's partly a matter of learning to make the effort. So I wanted to be sure that it was free software. So I called up the, the people in Oakland and I asked them, can I give this away? Can I share this? They said yes. Ah, well, you see, it, there may be programs in there which are binary only and which your people are allowed to redistribute binary copies of, but for which the source is not available. Oh. So what this comes down to, Richard, is... In other words, they, don't, they, may not, they may give you freedom two, but not freedom one and three. But that's one thing that can happen. Another thing, another re way that there can be non-free software on there is that uh, there can be binary-only programs where you don't get the source code. So people are, are permitted to make more copies of the binaries, but that doesn't give them the freedom to study and change the program. And it's possible SUSE is still doing that. It's also possible that they've stopped. If they've stopped, then I hope they'll tell us. I mean, it would be good if, I would be glad if SUSE's distribution were entirely free now. Red Hat has a distribution of GNU slash Linux, which includes some non-free software, and, you're, and you get some proprietary license for those. I mean, I think that, you know, okay, I've, I've suggested a path to solve a problem. Yeah. Now, it could be that there's some problem, some obstacle that you would run into and you might want to ask me how to get over that obstacle. Well, if you tell me the specific obstacle, maybe I could find a solution. However, if you're just vaguely concerned that there might be some obstacle somewhere, the thing to do is walk down the path and see if you hit one. Uh -huh. That's the way you'll find out if there's an obstacle. Right. If you find an obstacle, then come back to me. Yeah. Maybe I'll find a solution. 